Hi, my name is Darren with headcovers.com and today I'm going to walk you through the process on how to choose your wig color. So first you are going to determine what style you want. Now the reason why we're going to pick our style first and not our color is because this is how many color options we have available throughout our wig line. Now each wig is available in about this many colors which is anywhere between 20 to 25 colors. So in order to avoid picking a color that is not available in a suitable style, you want to pick the style first. And let me just reassure you that 99% of the time we are going to be able to find a perfect match for you. So there are many different ways to select a wig color. For example, on our website we do have hair swatches. However, if you are able to, we recommend sending in a hair sample if possible. So over here I have some examples of different hair swatches that we've received from different customers. This is a great hair swatch, it is plenty hair, um, you know, it'll, we'll be able to get a perfect match off of this hair swatch. However, this customer has made us very happy by sending us a very generous swatch of her hair. So it's really simple to send a hair swatch, all you have to do is just clip a piece um, from your head where you want us to match it and just tape it to a white piece of paper and indicate your order number and, you know, order information and which style you're going with. Now just keep in mind whenever you are sending us the hair swatch that you need to clip it on your head where you want us to match it. So for example, on my hair, I'm probably a wig consultant's worst nightmare. <laughs> However, if I was to take my hair clipping from here, it's very blonde. So a wig consultant might match me with a full blonde wig. If you were to take it from the back of your hair, like so, it's darker. So you can see the different tones here. So just make sure when you're sending us the hair swatch that whatever is on this sheet of paper, that's what we're going to match. So this customer has already submitted her order and she's mailed in her hair swatch. So I'm just going to walk you through the process on how we pick the best color option. So this is what our coloring looks like, like so. I'm going to take my browns. And let's try this one first. So as you can see, this one's too dark, so we're going to keep going. This one's not going to be a good match. And this is another one. And this one's too light, um, and it has too much light brown or blonde in it, so this isn't going to be a good match either, so we're going to move on to the next color. This is a really good match. I think the customer would be very happy with this one. So this is going to be the best possible match, so we're going to call our customer and begin processing her order and just let her know that we found a good color for her. So I'm just going to show you a different option. This is our blonde customer. And just so you can see the different tones that we have to work with. So this one here has too much of a deep red in it. So we wouldn't go with this one. So we'll move on to the next option. This one here is much too blonde. It's too ashy. It's too cool compared to the customer's hair swatch. And this is a color we did end up going with. It's a very good match. So I think that, that our customer will be very happy with this one. So if you're not able to send in a hair swatch or if you just don't want to, we do have many other options available. So as I previously mentioned, we do have the color swatches online. However, I do just want to point out that each monitor is set at a different setting. So the colors may vary slightly from what you see on your screen. Another option is a cross reference to another brand. So this customer placed an order online and in the drop down menu, she selected cross reference. So we gave her a call. And this is a color that she typically wears in this wig brand, but she ordered this wig brand. So what we do is we just cross reference it to the best color match. So we just gave her a call and we let her know that we had a good match for her. So another option that you can use is sending us a picture. So in the drop down menu, when you're placing your order, you're going to select sending picture, and then we'll just give you a call and we'll give you the instructions on where to either email the photo or where to mail it to. Another option is you can purchase our color rings. However, I just want to point out that the color rings are very costly and before you actually buy the coloring, we recommend that you give us a call 
and let us know what style you're looking at. That way we can tell you exactly what coloring you need to purchase in order to suit that style. So if none of these options work for you, you can also select phone consultation on the drop down menu. So we'll give you a call. And before we call you, it would be really helpful that if you had browsed the wigs on our website and try not to focus on the actual style that the model is wearing, try to focus more on the color that she's wearing. Jot those names down, and when we call you, you can just let us know what you had jotted down. That way we can have a common frame of reference as to which color you're looking for, and we can walk you through the process. So for more helpful tips on how to choose your wig color, you can visit our website at www.headcovers.com, and we do have a toll-free number that can also be found on our website. And thank you so much for watching.